And the reminders from your Lord come in many different ways. You could see something in the street happening and that's a reminder for you from your Lord. You could see a car accident. You could see an old person in the street or a young person being born into the world and that's a reminder for you. These are the days that Allah tricks them, turns them back and forth. He gives us these, these vicissitudes of life. One day we live, one day we die. One day we celebrate life, one day we celebrate and commemorate death. Or a life. And we never know when it's going to be us or someone dear to us. The people's account, your account, is getting closer and closer. What do you think is going on when we start going gray? I mean, that's a major sign. And most of us here are going gray. We have some gray. How long do you think you're going to live? What do we as the Muslims believe? And what does our belief make us do? Because what we're talking about here is general. Everybody wants a quick fix. There is no quick fix in Islam. The confusion or the, the difficulty of Islam is in its simplicity. Allah gives it to us right there. Our hearts. Our hearts are distracted. What are they distracted with? We're distracted with these, these petty things. TV, buildings, car, money, fame, business. Their hearts are filled with these things. And so this is why we're not paying attention to the details of life. This is why we'd rather clean our phone and get mad at our wives if our clothes for Juma are not ready. But not do any self-reflection to make sure our hearts are ready. Are we ready? Are we spiritually ready to make the changes, the internal changes, that each and every individual has to make in order to establish Islam first and foremost in their own selves. Then it transcends to those around you. And if we would focus first and foremost on our own hearts, the filth that they pick up just by walking in the street. Let's not even say that the things that you yourself think about, the things that you pick up, like the filth you pick up from walking in the street, the music that gets in there, the hatred, the animosity, the bad taste, the guilt, and the Muslim shouldn't be guilty because we have tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He always describes the mujrimoon, the criminals, as having guilt. Why do they have guilt? Because they did it. It doesn't mean that they feel remorse, but they're guilty of whatever they did. How does a person stop being guilty? He repents and he follows up a bad deed with a good one. A criminal is not considered a criminal if he's paid his debt to society. We pay our debts. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for violating His laws by repenting back to Allah. And following up that bad deed, that bad thought with a good one. And we purify our hearts. We set ourselves right by returning back to that right position. But it's as if, it's just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. La hiyatan kulubuhum. The people's hearts are distracted. Our hearts, let's not say someone else. Our hearts are distracted. What are they distracted with? You know, everybody here knows what his damir, what his conscious 
is considering. What happens? Allah says, those who are the oppressors. But let's take it on the language. Because people oppress themselves. Anybody who violates the law of Allah has oppressed themselves. People conceal their secret thoughts and their secret conversations. When someone comes and gives us some advice and we don't like it, This guy ain't who he think he is. He's nobody, just somebody just like us. We say that. Not just to the Anbiya, but to the Imam, to the guy in the street. Somebody tells you, Islam says you have to grow a beard. You get mad at him. Like he's the problem. Like you didn't know that when you shaved your face. Nobody can force you to do anything. We're not trying to pick on the brothers that don't sh that, that, that shave. I'm just making a point. Any law, anybody says anything to somebody, we don't like what you said. How dare you tell me that? Who do you think you are? The ego. Allah is telling us over and over and over and over and over and over again. Reflect on the message. Because your account with your Lord is coming. And all we've been doing is wasting our time.